advertising the pandemic the final nail, it seems. Many households spent lockdown tidying up. Now local charities are dealing with a deluge of rubbish being dumped by COVID cleaners. One South West Sydney Council beefing up its surveillance to catch people in the act. The doors are shut, but all this man cares about is getting rid of a trailer full of unwanted items. He dumps the couch, two mattresses, finally some used bedding outside a Salvation Army store in Yaguna. This individual has been caught on three separate occasions now now and he's facing in the vicinity of $6,700 worth of infringements. These two waited until the cover of darkness to empty their boot. A chest of drawers, air conditioner unit, the men not even bothering to carry it over the fence of the Nawi charity shop. But this woman takes the prize for the least amount of effort. These people have no shame. Charities aren't there to have your rubbish dumped on their doorstep. The South West Illegal Dumping Squad has been dealing with a deluge of discarded waste since COVID-19 restrictions began. Some of the material they're leaving there is clearly garbage and it's not of any use to the charities. The Environment Protection Authority reported a 34% rise in illegal dumping across Sydney in April compared to last year. The spike particularly high in outer suburbs such as Karingai, while the Hill Shire has seen an 81% surge in illegal dumping since January. Canterbury Bankstown Council rolling out six new roaming detection cameras. As far as security cameras go, you couldn't find one more obvious than this outside Salvos in Yaguna. But it's not deterring determined dumpers. Five have been caught on camera since it was installed just last week. Charity donators are being urged to drop off during business hours and call ahead. Do it the right way, otherwise we will catch you. Elizabeth Bryan, Nine News.